and assault on our community. In breaking news, local and leaders are holding a news Washington conference following that protest here. outside a synagogue in, fact, in LA's Pico Robertson neighborhood. Let's go ahead and listen so in. Quickly, leaders of our community gives you a sense of how important it is that we move forward together. And what you will hear is a group of people committed to moving forward in ways that really will make a difference and protect everyone who lives in our great city. So with that, please join me in uh, welcoming Mayor Bass. Thank you everyone for being here today. Uh, this morning, Councilwoman Yaroslawski and I spoke and called on leaders of the community to come together to discuss what happened. The violence that happened in the Pico Robinson neighborhood yesterday was abhorrent, and blocking access to a place of worship is absolutely unacceptable. What we witnessed was anti-Semitism in the heart of one of our Jewish communities. This violence was designed to stoke fear. It was designed to divide, but hear me loud and clear, it will fail. What you see up here with me today is a united front saying unequivocally that violence and hate will find no harbor here in Los Angeles. I also wanna recognize both the governor and President Biden for standing with us as well. We cannot allow hate to seep through our society and we will not. I know the Pico Robinson neighborhood well. This is a community that I represented in Congress, in the State Assembly, and in my short time as mayor. We've stood together both in tragedy, responding to the shooting of two Orthodox men last year, and in celebration, joining together in the lighting of the menorah on the first night of Hanukkah. But now, in the events of yesterday, have cast a shadow of fear, not just in this community or in our city, but regionally and nationally. We will not allow hate to win. Last night, I called on LAPD to immediately provide additional patrols in the Pico Robinson community, as well as outside of houses of worship throughout the city. Since then, I've been in close contact with law enforcement officials, as well as civic, community, and faith leaders working to come together to ensure that this violence never happens again. In less than 24 hours of yesterday's incidents, we've worked to convene faith leaders, community groups, and law enforcement to have constructive conversation working on ensuring this does not happen again. We have decided on the following points. We will be working to immediately convene leaders of houses of worship and cultural centers to discuss how to protect sacred spaces, sharing ideas, practices, and strategies to keep congregants safe. LAPD will enhance their partnership with Jewish public safety organizations to continually review evolving tactics and threats to the community and to ensure that we are not just responding, but taking proactive action to prevent these instances from happening in the first place. We will also work with our state representatives uh, especially Assemblymember Jesse Gabriel, to bring resources here to protect LA houses of worship. Councilwoman Yaroslawski will be introducing an urgent motion to secure additional funding as well. We also will be contacting and having a conversation with our city attorney, Heidi Felstein Soto, to talk about several things that we need to examine. For example, permits for protests, the idea of people wearing masks at protests and establishing clear lines of demarcation between what is legal and what is not. But know that this isn't just a one-off. This is a sustained commitment. As mayor, my number one job is to keep people safe. And I want to assure Angelinos that we will continue our efforts to make sure that you not just feel safe, but you actually are safe, especially in places of worship. Los Angeles will not stand for anti-Semitism. Los Angeles will not stand or tolerate violence. And know this, those that are responsible for either will be found and held accountable. And I wanna thank all of the leaders here that are standing today. Again, what you see here is a united front, a united front against violence, a united front against hate. 
let me introduce my partner and colleague, Councilwoman Katie Yaroslavsky. Thank you, Mayor Bass, for your partnership over the last 24 hours in particular, but also for the last year and a half. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Mayor Bass and I just finished a series of internal meetings with law enforcement, private security companies, and community leaders to discuss the completely unacceptable violence in Pico Robertson, my neighborhood, yesterday. Our conversation focused on how the situation escalated so unacceptably and the next steps for developing a concrete plan of action to prevent this from happening again. There is understandably a lot of fear right now in the Jewish community, and what happened yesterday only deepened those fears. This violence would have been unacceptable anywhere in Los Angeles, but that this protest was planned and carried out in front of a synagogue in the heart of LA's Jewish community on a Sunday afternoon is completely indefensible. It's deeply disturbing and it's rooted in anti-Semitism. This is not who we are. Los Angeles is a city of diversity, inclusion, and mutual respect. We are also a city that values everyone's right to peaceful protest or counter-protest. It's among the most important freedoms we hold as Americans, but we will not tolerate violence, intimidation, or any act that seeks to divide us. I spoke with Assemblymember Gabriel this morning. He reaffirmed the state's commitment to including $40 million in funding next fiscal year for nonprofit security grants, which is going to help provide security services at Jewish institutions and with our uh, Jewish public safety partners. Mayor Bass and I will be working with members of the Jewish caucus in the state legislature to accelerate the disbursement of that funding as quickly as possible. And as the mayor uh, just mentioned, I'm gonna be bringing a motion at tomorrow's city council meeting to identify additional city resources for security services to bridge the gap between when those grants become available. Uh, I'd next like to introduce uh, LAPD Police Chief Dominic Choi to say a few words. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for having me. Um, mayor, thanks for including me in this important conversation. So first of all, I just wanna acknowledge that to the Jewish community, I hear you. I, I, I won't say I understand your fear, but I know you are fearful and I hear that. No community anywhere should be in fear of going to a house of worship uh, and have to wonder if they're gonna be attacked or stopped or questioned. Um, and so public safety is my challenge. It's LAPD's challenge. It's our calling. That's what we do. That's what this city county family is doing here today to support those efforts to increase public safety. Number one rule, violence is not tolerated anywhere. Whether you have protesters, counter protesters, uh, you're, okay, you're okay to protest peacefully, but violence will not be tolerated. I also look forward as we discussed a little bit, as the mayor discussed a little bit, uh, I'm gonna be coordinating, my officers will be coordinating with community public safety organizations within this community to come up with other solutions, immediate solutions, boots on the ground solutions that we can see uh, rapidly better outcomes and results when these incidents occur. I would obviously prefer that we never see these again, but if they occur, we will be, have, a, have a more robust uh, and more tactical strategic response. As for yesterday's incident, there we all, we all know there was one arrest, but there's ongoing investigations. Please know that we are gonna continue to investigate all acts of violence, try to identify these suspects or perpetrators and arrest them and bring them to justice. I also want to add that we are absolutely providing extra patrol to all houses of worship within the city of Los Angeles. Again, not only do I want to increase public safety, I want to increase the sense of safety. I want people to have contacts with our with their community law enforcement officers or senior lead officers, have points of contact to contact us and ask questions to build that trust and again, build that safe, safe, uh, sense of safety. Uh, so thank you for your time. And at this time, I think I'm going to be calling up uh, County Supervisor Lindsay Horvath. And you're listening to local leaders addressing violence that happened outside a synagogue in the Pico Robertson area. And I think one of the most tangible things we learned in this is that 40 million dollars in security grants uh, will be going toward 
securing these houses of worship if Councilwoman uh, Katie Yaroslawski's motion gets passed tomorrow. And as you heard Dominic Choi saying, the LAPD police chief, he wants people to feel a sense of safety. Right now that's shaken. Yes, uh, it absolutely sounds like we're going to start to see more security outside houses of worships, particularly in that Pico Robertson neighborhood. Uh, one of the other big things was that they're going to review the policy for giving out um, permits for demonstrations and also review the policy on people allowed to wear masks at the protest. That is interesting because we saw the mask wearing obviously after COVID. Now it seems to be protecting identities of people who may be committing acts of violence. And then you wonder, is it going to be a religious freedom conversation right. with uh, protecting one's face or wearing something that could obstruct someone's identity? All that violence yesterday, only one arrest so far.